After two Central Georgia children died from ATV accidents within a week, we are sharing some safety tips when it comes to riding and looking out for these vehicles. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Frank Malloy and I'm Lori Johnson. A 12 year old boy and a 13 year old girl were killed in two different accidents this past week. According to the US Consumer Product Safety Commission, they were over 112 thousand injuries on different types of off road vehicles in 2020. Camila Williams spoke with the sales specialist at Byron Outdoor Superstore about how you can stay safe. Staying alive is cool. That's Ron Cleghorn's motto when it comes to riding one of these four wheelers. All these manufacturers, they're very, very strict with ATV safety. In Central Georgia in the past week, a 12 and 13 year old died in ATV crashes. One was in the backyard of their home in Dodge County. The other was on Mount Mariah Road in Washington County. I can only imagine losing a child. Cleghorn says these kinds of crashes always leave him with questions. Where were they at? Were they on the road? Were they off road? Were they riding where they were supposed to? Did they have helmets? So on. Could this have been avoided? Now, depending on the size of the ATV, the age requirement changes with them as well. All ATV riders should ride these off road only. And Ron says the most important thing is to suit up. You don't have to wear motocross boots. I mean, just something to protect the ankles. But I do feel like this is by far the most important right here. This is going to protect their head. Each motor company carries a warning label about operating a four wheeler. Georgia law says off road vehicles are not for public road use and natural terrain only. Cleghorn says he's seen kids on an ATV riding on public roads. It worries him because he has kids. I told the parents and they got very upset with me. And you know, they told me that I needed to pretty much mind my own business. At the Byron Outdoor Superstore, they refuse sales if the purchases aren't age or size appropriate. It's a liability for them too. Claghorn says he loves seeing kids ride ATVs, but in the right way. Take them to Durham Town. You can, you might have to travel a little bit, but there is places for them to ride. He wants riders to take his motto, staying alive is cool, as words to literally live by. In Byron, Camila Williams, 13 WMZ News. Cleghorn says dirt bikes are also illegal to ride on public roads. They are not considered street motorcycles. He says dirt bike tires are not the same as regular road tires and they often lack lights and a tag to make them street legal.